Perry Abraham from Battling Sioux, you are wanted at the registration table. Perry Abraham, Battling Sioux.
Welcome to Red Deer International Celebration. Come on down. We have registration down on the main dance floor. If you haven't registered yet, come on down to the main dance floor. Come and register.
All in all royalty, your registration booth is open right down by the table down here. Calling all dancers, we are almost ready, set to go. Seven o'clock start time, there's no Indian time here. Get your numbers and get ready. Calling all royalty, your registration booth is open.
Oh, welcome, welcome, all your powwow people, all your powwow relatives. We're getting our registration done here through our CNT tabulations. We'd like to welcome you right on over here to the Powwow Times International Powwow, right here in Red Deer Live Action in Alberta. As you know what's good, as you know what we're bringing in is all of our people, all of our relatives, all of our family. If you need some information on our agenda, on what's going on, we're on our Powwow Times page, pwtpowwow.com. You can look at our powwow. You can look at our scan, your wristband as well. If you look on that little wristband, you got a little barcode. Use your phone and check it out. It'll bring you up to our agenda. And if you haven't received one, that's where you're going to be able to find it on the digital platform. Welcome all of you dancers and all you singers. Good to see all you drum brothers out there. We're looking uh, like we're going to have a full set of good powwow here throughout the weekend. I uh, will be along uh, side here, Mr. Hal Eagletail and Donnie Spidell. Welcome, welcome, brothers, wherever you're at. Good to see some of the relatives here, seeing a few familiar faces, some old faces, and, of course, some new faces. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the Red Deer International Powwow. Good to see all you Indian people and all of our non-indigenous relatives that came to spectate at our powwow. Welcome, welcome. You're going to see a bunch of beautiful ways of life brought to you in a way of our indigenous eye, our teachings, and throughout our knowledge as we celebrate here at the powwow. We're excited to bring to you all ages and all categories. Uh, good to see everyone. Hello. Oh, hi. Welcome to all of our vendors here, all of our vendors that came to uh, bring your art, bring your way, bring your showcase. Welcome to the Pow Wow here in Red Deer. You know, we want to invite all of you vendors to uh, encourage you, if you need any information, to look forward to Curtis Joe, Kujo. Curtis Joe is our vendor director. And if you need any questions, we're looking for that gentleman. Let him know. We're welcoming all our vendors here and all of our powwow people. Good to see you, singers. You know what you got to do. Get registered through. And all you dancers, come over here. Get yourself dialed in with the CNT tabulations as we are going to have a fair and square powwow. Good to go with the show. Good times with powwow times. That's how we're going. Hello, sister. Hello, everyone. Oh, what good love and good energy already started. We haven't even started the power, and I feel the good spirit here already. Welcome, welcome, welcome.
Right on. Okay, quick uh, announcement for all of our drummers, all of our drummers. We want to let you know, 645 on the dot. We're ready to go with that drum roll call coming from our head singing judge, Steve Wood. Right on, all the way from Saddle Lake, Alberta. We're excited to have you here, lead singer of Northern Cree, to uh, run our contest fair and square, to bring that good energy and that good teaching of a singer and a way to be as a, a head drum judge. He would like to welcome all you singers here and let you know, 645 drum roll call. And after your drum roll call, he wants all lead singers to come see him after the drum roll call to go with our drum rules and our expectations coming from our head singing judge and the powwow here right on right on singers welcome 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 to our dancers that are coming on in. If you're looking to find the agenda for the powwow, we want you to know you can scan your wristband to find this schedule, to find out what's going on, to keep yourself on time with our schedule. And every once in a while, we'll go on the intercom. It'll play through. Yes, Candace, braid that hair. Braid that hair. Uh, my sister just braiding the good in-law's hair. Loving life. Loving how this braid is so deliciously brown and all of the above as he looks at his bells right on right on but if you're needing help on the agenda you know you go on through with your wristband take a good old scan and see what you got on the plan as we're going to go through this agenda right on we have a special for 18 years an older men's fancy special tonight in honor of Donnie Spidell. That will be running right after our inner tribals and our tiny tots. So once we go through our inner tribals around the first half, then our tiny tots will be on after that. And then the family of the Spidell family, relatives that come from the Dakota White Cap First Nation, will be having a special in honor of one of our co-MCs, Mr. Donnie Spidell. So all you men's fancy 18 years and older, be getting ready and steady for that good stuff right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Once again, I don't know where this uh, music is coming from, but my spirit, I feel, is getting stronger as we go through this album, as we go through this uh, soundtrack. Everyone close their eyes and listen to this deep music of the movement of our Indian people. Long ago, our people would braid their men's hair as he holds a drumstick in his hand, as she smiles, as he laughs amongst his friends. You know, that music gets you in a poetic type feel. Speaking of poets, throwing all my love out there to Mylan Tatusis, one of the best uh, indigenous poets I know. He's a real good individual. He's got that good heart and soul for the paper and the pen and all of the good things that come along with that poetry and friends right on there. Throwing my love out there. Mylan Tatusis, wherever you're at, brother, much love. Alrighty, relatives, if you know, you got to get strolled up here to our CNT tabulations. 645 drum roll call on the dot coming from our head singing judge, Steve Wood. He'd like to invite all our singers with that love, that good energy and respect after our drum roll call. He'll be asking all of you to uh, take your lead singers and bring them on up here to the front as they will have a drum meeting. It's not like a council or a chief and council meeting. It's a drum meeting, meaning they all show up. That's how it works, just like that. 
uh, Mr. Hal Eagle Tail in the building all the way from Tsutsina, Sarsi, Alberta. Right on. Good to see my co-MC, my adopted uncle. My uncle is a really good relative and is very well known through Indian country. Good to have him here as he brings his energy to the people, to all you Powell people you're very familiar with. Good to see you there, Hal Eagle Tail. Don't forget, once again, look at your wristbands. Take a scan if you need something to... Uh, Find yourself the agenda and the order and how we're going to dance. It's right on the wristband. Take a look. Take a scan. Just to let you know, dancers, 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 when you scan your wristband, you're actually, there's, a, there's an option there for you to uh, submit your name and your info to win an iPad and a Pow Wow Time shirt. So if you want to win a free iPad, scan your wristband, go into the submit in that section as you can win yourself an iPad and a Pow Wow Times shirt. Good luck, good luck. Sponsored by ATB. The iPad was sponsored and given from ATB Financial. Thank you very much, our good old Muniawak friends, ATB. But they're not also donating. We also donated some things from Pow Wow Times. Nonprofit. Thank you very much to the nonprofit organization of Pow Wow Times. Hey, hey. He brought our new relative that has been brought to life by a good person and a good way of life. Mr. George Ezra, thank you for coming out, brother. Bringing that good energy from Frog Lake, Alberta. And also has given in, uh, our very own Pow Wow Times nonprofit in our, our way and subject and how we give to the people. Has created a good thing for our people, Wapahan. And I'm very grateful for the Eagle staff that he has brought into our non power Nonprofit organization of Pow Wow Times and how we give back. Thank you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Once again, there's singers, 645, drum roll call. 645, drum roll call on the dot. All you singers, we're giving away some good, decent money here. And we're just giving away uh, not only some good money, but some good energy here from the powwow. We have our head singing judge, Steve Wood, going to be running our singing contest throughout the weekend. Thank you for... And exactly... Uh, 12 minutes, just for work, a real quick important announcement. In 12 minutes at 6.45, we're going to be stopping our registration at this time at 6.45 as we're going to go through our drum roll call. We're going to go through all of our festivities as far as our grand entry and then reopen it right after our grand entry at 7 o'clock. So... Must be registered by 645 because we're closing it on up and going to our drum roll call. 645.
quick announcement. Harry Abraham. Harry Abraham, come over here to the drum registration side of the table, please. And thank you, Harry Abraham. Hey, hey, Simak. Where's your phone? Almost dead. All right, we're back here. We're back here, you guys. My name's Nathan Nerys here from Red Pheasant First Nation. For all and, uh, you relatives that are brother. sitting at Cal, home or sitting here, are text them up and let them know that we are live and, uh, on Powwow Times to be back Live here on our the YouTube Red Deer International page. Celebration. We'll Nathan, uh, you know, glad weekend. we could all come back together. I always uh, feel really good and comfortable working with my buddy Nathan. Uh, we worked a lot together. You know, we had a, a great powwow last year. Yeah. And we're, we're having another one here uh, in Red Deer, you know. I'm glad you wore that shirt too, Nathan. Right? We're exactly. coming off. You know, it's uh, one of the predominant months in September, especially September 30th, where we, yeah. you know, we wear the orange T-shirts. We've seen it all over, uh, honoring residential survivors, uh, you know, uh, all the kids that didn't make it home and uh, things of that nature. But, you know, honoring them just as we would our veterans in Remembrance Day, not only in November 11th, but every yes. day. So I, I was scrambling what to wear. I know, I know my bro here. He's always dressed to the to the nines in any event he does. You know, I'm just like straight from the Reds hoodie, put it on, let's go. But you know, I really wanted to re represent. I said, what should I wear tonight? I was like, man, I'm gonna wear the Every Child Matters shirt, and uh, I will be decked out like this tomorrow here. And uh, but I'm just excited to be back. You know, just. Last year, you know, I was super nervous, you know, coming into it because, you know, knowing a little bit about Powell, but coming in, you know, as I do have a business now and I, and I was all around the Powell's all, all summer this season and took it all in, man, and just breathed it all in and just learned and, you know, I had my auntie and everyone on the Powell trail as well and just enjoyed every single minute of it, so I'm glad to be back here for year number two. Well, you know what, Nathan, it, it goes back to the residential days. You know, and it was yeah. part of uh, part of that whole era that uh, you know took a lot of the culture away from our people, and yes. it was thankful for for certain nations uh, where they were situated. A lot of times, you always kind of refer back in our Treaty Six territory, out in the Big River, and uh, compare Mus Muskeg Lake's about an hour away, and we had a lot of residential survivors that were taken, a lot of kids that were taken, as opposed to Big River, where they had a vast forest area yeah so the elders knew they were coming they hit a lot of them in the bush so they don't have a lot of survivors but it's just one of those stories where you see in big river a lot of culture a lot of language and uh, in my community you know we're regaining the language we're regaining a lot of the ceremonies so uh, thankful for and that's across canada and you know and uh, certain communities that um, salvaged our ceremonies and uh, you know that's what we're celebrating here today is uh not only the veterans that fought in the wars for Canada, but our our dark history as well. You know that uh, a lot of times back in those those years, those early years in the 1900s, we weren't allowed to leave the reservation. We weren't allowed to practice ceremony. It was a criminal offense. So bringing those to light through the education curriculum, showing the kids the real story. I know when we were in high school and a lot of people our age, and uh, you know it wasn't in the curriculum. So you're learning things about things overseas when really we should have been learning about the yes, things that were going yes. on right here in Canada. Yeah. So no, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. And a lot of just relearning, 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 and never be uh, ashamed to, you know, admit, hey, I need to know what's going on here. Tell me, you know, obviously you got to follow protocol, tobacco, but sometimes mistakes are made, but keep learning every single day. You betcha. It don't matter what age you are either. You just go in there, dive in, and uh, there's a lot of people out there, you know, that are, are more than welcome to share their knowledge. As them too, they are, like I said, learning. Everyone's learning at, at every level. You betcha. You know, you're just you're just trying to level up, I guess, you in betcha. whatever part, yeah. you know, whether it be your language or your culture, or just learning. You know, even getting back into the res, because a lot of people, you know, grow up in the cities, the urban settings, and they don't know about the res life. That's you know, right. it's like such as us, we grew up on the reserve. You know, you have all the fun stories, you know, playing around with kids, getting kicked outside, 
running around with all your cousins and you know going to school whatever man now, you know? another part that ties in with that nathan is the connection to the land yeah you know those are our relatives those are our grandfathers yeah. so uh, so many teachings that a lot of our um, youth that are in the uh, inner cities don't get to appreciate and so we see a lot of the schools non-first nations and first nations alike doing the land-based learning and there's so much teachings in that there's so much teachings in everything about the culture and that's what it's about and just like you said there nathan doesn't matter what age you're at you know i tell a lot of my friends that weren't really exposed but they grew up with me they come watch me dance they mm -hmm. see that and now getting into building their regalia and yes. owning it and then their kids want to be a part of it because they're hey mom and dad are dancing now right yep. and a good example is a friend of mine uh, from big river he actually stationed out here in uh, satina and he's an rcmp and he's coming out here last year he danced in his home community of big river and he was in his red surge but he was asking about dancing and uh, he built his own regalia over the year. He come dance in his home community, not in Red Surge, but in his full traditional yeah. outfit. He's making the trip down here today. He's here getting ready. He's going to dance uh, grand entry here. Did you tell him he's coming up here to interview? I'm going to get him up here to come and uh, touch base with us. But uh, another perspective, you know, he, he he's in the RCMP for, yeah. I don't know how many years since he was a young man. And, he uh, was in there young, I think you remember. And now he his said daughter. That yeah. And he married another First Nations yeah. RCMP woman. And now uh, their kids, I mean, it's a different thing here. She had hockey practice tonight, so she couldn't come and dance. And uh, we'll get kind of uh, through the agendas and how that's going to work here. It's a, it's a different agenda out here in Red Deer. Yeah. I understand we have Patrick coming up here. We're waiting for him, yes. And just so you guys are annoying, uh, uh, know that... Uh, Everything is on time here. There's going to be no late anything. If it says 702, 902, it's at 902. As you guys can Out see here behind here Red right? Deer, Indian time is <laughs> on time. Exactly. But as you guys can see in the back, you got the teepee down there. You got the floor. Everyone's getting ready for grand entry. I think grand entry is at 702. 7 o'clock. I think the last, the last. There's our man. The latest they have ever went here on a grand entry was five minutes late. Is it? And I heard that from Patrick himself, Patrick Mitzwing, for those of you who don't know. There's our guy coming up coming here right up now. Here, so we're going to make some room. Yeah, we're going to put him in here. here. So just He's give coming us in the middle. a second. Yeah. All this right. will be only our first and only three, three foot. Come on in there, Pat. All right. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. How you guys doing? All right. Good. Good. Good to see you, brother. Back right on. Back all the way. I was telling <laughs> Back at it. Hey, right on, so, guys. Uh, we were just talking about you, Patrick, not about you, but uh, yeah. for you. And uh, just kind of tell the viewers, I know they, they had a chance to talk to you and your wife, Marissa, last year. Yeah. But, you know, as I was driving up here, I was thinking of the story that you told when, you know, you see this building right. and you said that would be a beautiful place to have a power. Kind of elaborate on that. Yeah, we moved here about 12 years ago from Saskatchewan, looking for a better life, you know, and yeah. we, we uh, heard it on the radio that Sylvan Lake actually was one of the safest places to live in Canada, and uh, we're just starting to make some traction with our family and uh, success in our lives, and yeah. so I just packed up the U-Haul and said, let's go, right? you know, we came this way, and we were driving around Red Deer one day, and I seen the arena there, and I was like, you know what? One day it'd be so awesome to have a powwow there. And I, I, I had no experience doing any kind of events or anything like that. But I had this vision that, um, you know, see the stuff back here that it would happen. You know, yep. I, I saw it in my mind and I, I believe things happen twice. First in your mind and then in reality. And so I thought about it and it, kept, it was this picture I always had in my head. And I knew one day it would come into fruition yeah you bet yeah, yeah. you know I, I talked about that with some of my <laughs> friends in there red deer why, why in red deer and, <laughs> I know. Uh, you know but uh, yeah. it's a great story mm -hmm. last year we got to talk to the mayor and some of the people around the city tell yeah. us the impact of uh, of having the power in here and things uh, that are going on with red oh, deer oh man it's been it's been night and day you know when i first came here um, the indigenous community were asking the city for a space somewhere where we could practice our culture not a lot of people know that uh you know a lot of reservations close to 50 percent of our people are off reserve now that's right so they're living in municipalities they're li living in the cities with uh everybody else and so we have a community at every city you go to there's an indigenous community and for uh, many places there's not a place for us to to congregate 
And so, you know, having the power, I created good relationships with, with the mayor and with the leadership. And, you know, I don't know if I should drop this on, on video, but, um, it's time. you know, we we're talking with the city and I've been telling them we need a place. And so they, they talked with their city council and they said they got $4.5 million for us to build a center. Wow. You know, and now we're, we're looking to, to get the federal to, to match that and the provincial to match that. So that 4.5 could turn into, you know, north of 12 and we'll get a good center for our people awesome. here in Red Deer. And it all starts with things like this, uh, you know, so that's you the betcha. impact that we can make here. We were kind of opening up our show there with the Every Child Matters shirt that uh, Nathan's hey. wearing and kind of giving him a little background. But, yeah. you, know, I, you know, I'm out in Saskatoon, council member in Muskeg, but you know, I think Red Deer, you know, putting that money forward, yeah. putting that initiative forward, some of the calls to action are being answered there. So exactly. great work there, hey, uh, partner. Right Appreciate on, that. Right on, guys. Yeah, so uh, looking at my, my watch, I don't have it on me, but we're we're almost near showtime, you know, another 14 minutes will yeah. be there. So I know you guys are going to put on a, a great, great show for our, our online audience. I I was telling everybody out there, out here in Red Deer, when Patrick Mitzwing's running it, Indian time is on time. <laughs> it's on time. We're, <laughs> we, I don't think we've ever started, you know, past five minutes, past our scheduled time That's of right. start time. So we're, yeah, we're ready to rock. So you guys online, if you like what you see, share it with your friends and relatives so they can come online here. Uh, you got two great hosts here ready to go for all weekend long, our Powell Times Powell. All right. All right, boys. We'll let you get back at yeah, her, Patrick. Right, right on. on. Hi, hi. Hey, Thanks hi, for the brother. visit. We'll talk to you again soon. What are we doing? We're off right now. Thank you very much, Creek Confederation, for uh, rendering that drum song. And now we're going to go on to our order. As they just sang that drum song, we know that they are there and present. We have our head singing judge going to be doing our head count all the way around the horn. Mr. Steve Wood, all the way from Saddle Lake, Alberta. Good to see you, Uncle. Let's go with our drum roll call. Creek Confederation sing our drum song. We are at head count. We're moving over here to drum number two. Pipe stem creek. One start. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Al Eagle Tail saving the day. Thank you very much, Pipe Stem Creek. Moving on over here to drum number three, Mountain Creek. for drum number three, Mountain Cree, for the good old drum roll call. Moving on over here to drum number four, Nakota Nation.
Dakota Nation. Moving on down to drum number five, Blackfoot Confederacy. Blackfoot Confederacy, moving on down to drum number six, Poundmaker. Thank you, pound maker. Moving on to drum number seven, bullhorn. Their bullhorn moving on down to drum number eight, Thunderling. Drum number eight, Thunder Lake. Moving on down to drum number nine, Shinnecke Lake. Down to drum number 10, Crazy Creek. Creek, thank you for coming on. Now we're going to Sorrel Rider.
Oh, thank you very much. Jump number 11, so Rail Rider moving on down to jump number 12, Southern Medicine. Where are you at? Thank you very much, Southern Medicine. Moving on to drum number 13, Blackstone. Jump number 13, Blackstone moving to jump number 14, Lazy Dog. Drum number 14, Lazy Dog. Moving over here to drum number 15, Young Spirit. Drum number 15, Young Spirit. Moving over here to drum number 16, Bad War Cloud. Cloud, drum number 16, moving over down to drum number 17, Buffalo Road. Say Talia to my Cree relatives, Cal and Crazy Legs, Arcan back here with my good brother. I'd say Nathan Harris here from Red Pheasant and Tree Six Territory, and we're excited. Hey. Getting, getting set here for Grand Entry International Celebration out here in Red Deer. Welcome to the community of Red Deer, uh, friends and relatives that are joining us from not too, not too far away, and also uh, live on uh, social media as well. Welcome to the Red Deer Celebration. 
Yeah, we're going to be broadcast on YouTube, on Facebook, as well as Rogers, uh, the channels there on cable. So welcome everyone that's watching near and far. I think last year, man, we were reaching like in Europe and stuff. People are watching, tuning in. So wherever you guys are watching from, we're so glad, thankful you guys are here tuning in tonight with Cal Crazy Legs, Arcan, and myself, Nathan uh, Arias, also known as Mr. Iops. Mr. Iops, formerly known as Mr. Chase the Ace, <laughs> yes, for those uh, who know him personally. Moving on all the time. Uh, you know what? Such a great thing out here in Red Deer. Uh, you know, me and Nathan have the opportunity to walk through uh, to, to teach you some of the things about our culture and to, yep. to kind of uh, get an insight on some of the powwow people that are here. We have a lot of relatives that have come from south of the border to come up here and showcase their style of dance. We have some of our people from Canada out here all coming together in Red Deer. You know, what is it, second annual? Fourth annual, fourth I believe. Fourth annual. I believe. Getting I believe bigger it's and better every annual, year. Yes. Second time broadcasting third annual, live. Third annual, third okay. annual, sorry. So, you know, things are going good here in Red yeah. Deer, and we're just happy to be a part of it. And we'd like to thank Patrick Mitzwing, his wife, Marissa, yeah. for their vision to have this celebration out here in Red Deer. We talked about it a little bit earlier on a pre-show here with, uh, you know, with Patrick, and uh, such an awesome story. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Nathan's wearing the Every, sh uh, Every Child Matters shirt today, the orange yeah. shirt coming out of September here. We kind of touched a little bit on that, and, uh, you know, it was... Uh, those years, those residential school years, that really took a lot of the culture away from our people. And you know, this is part of it. This is a big part of it is sharing those teachings. We certainly don't know everything about everything about the culture, but continuously learning as well. Yeah, like we were saying previously, like you know, myself, I've learned so much in the last year coming into this powwow here. And uh, once again, yeah, thank you for uh, Pat involving myself and Cal, but. Yeah, going back, we were talking about, uh, you know, the Every Child, Every Child Matters movement, you know, losing culture, identity, language, all that stuff. And, you know, it's never, it's never too late to dive back in, to get in there, get to know your culture. And even saying Tanse every day, just to get it going in and start learning another word every day. But, you know, as going back is where I'm getting into the Powell, to the Powell Trail almost, because as, as I, I live stream it as well, and we partner up with Cal and do a lot of events, but you know, Powell is one of my favorite events. You know, feeling the drum, the grand entry, just seeing the dancers and grass dancing is uh, my favorite dance, love it. I actually put on a special this past uh, summer in uh, Soto First Nation. We did uh, Women's Fancy versus uh, Men's Grass, man. That was just awesome to see. But stuff like that, when you're going in here doing that, you're learning, you're just taking it all in, man. And, and like I said, it's never too old to, to just dive back into your culture and just keep asking people, you know, obviously follow follow product protocol, and if you make a mistake, that's okay because we're all learning, no matter what level. You betcha. Uh, you know, like uh, for myself, my dad Eugene Arcan, he's a residential survivor. He was in residential schools for 10 yep. years and uh, a gifted athlete, but at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of things going through his personal life and uh, very angry young person and. Uh, carrying that into his adulthood and uh, so it's a long story it's his story but at the same time my part uh, with my siblings comes into it when we uh, made the move from North Alford to Prince Albert and you know we've seen dancers from Sturgeon Lake on Founders Day and we're like what is that what's going on mm -hmm. out there daddy we want to be a part of that yeah you know talking with the Daniels family and a big shout out to my uncle Terry Daniels and his family it really opened our eyes up to this is your culture too this is yeah. part of you who you are so that's kind of where I started my journey as a fancy dancer and getting into the powwow lifestyle and it was pretty awesome for for mom and dad together uh, to, to watch us mom dances now and uh, you know I have a granddaughter that dances now. Uh, my daughter's here dancing, and it's a big family thing. It, it, it's 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 TP teachings, yeah. cultural teachings about family, and it all t starts with that family unit, that yeah. circle, and we call it the circle of life. And so, a lot of times when you come to the celebrations, you'll hear the MCs talk about that, and uh, you know, it's relation to Grandmother Moon, it's relationship to Mother Earth, where we get everything we need, uh, the sustenance to live. Yes. And uh, relationship to our mothers and our grandmothers is why we pay so much respect to the women in our society. And so we're re relearning that as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, the teachings, uh, they just go on and on. But, you know, that circle starts, you're, you're a baby and you move into your adolescence. 
You move into your adulthood, you come full circle to eldership where you, you've collected all that knowledge for all those years and then to share that with the younger generations and you come back to that baby stage where we take care of those people now. Those are our yeah. gifts, those are our um, educators. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there you go, the many teachings that Cal has learned obviously throughout his life. But we're gonna go back down to the, the main floor here at the third annual Pow Wow Times International Pow here live in Red Deer. Grand entry time, folks, live at the International Gathering. Dancers, we're calling you to the grand entry entrance. We are ready to go on with our grand entry. We are taking points. We are taking points. Welcoming all of you here. We have a lot of good love and good energy to spread around the world. If you're watching at home from the YouTube channel, Pow Wow Times Live, go to our YouTube channel, click that like and share, and spread it around as we are going to celebrate here with all of our family, our friends. That's the way we do it. Good to see everyone. Wee cha. Good evening, Powwow fans. Welcome to the Red Deer International Powwow Celebration. My name is Hal Eagle Tail. A little bit of uh, Treaty 7 here out of Satina Nation. At this time, those that can rise, please do so as we introduce the most colorful event in North America, the Pow Wow Grand Entry. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to be riveted by a kaleidoscope of color, sound, and camaraderie as we go to our top of the order in our singing champion contest, Creek Confederation. We're going to go to you for that first song of our Grand Entry procession on a Friday frenzy in the Pow Wow Trail here at the International Red Deer Pow Wow Celebration. We got the high sign. Please, let's all rise honoring our Eagle Staffs, our veterans, our colors, our war bonnets, our royalty, our dignitaries, our VIPs, and of course, our champion dancers. Cree Confederation! Let's rock this joint! It's Pow Wow time! singing style in our indigenous countries from the four directions red hair from red hair alberta canada we sing in the language of mother earth and all living things from the plants the animals the birds the water ones the universe rocking this joint in our beautiful language of mother earth style Queen confederation our Eagle staff in the curvature position representing peace with the newcomers from the Robinson Huron Treaty, from the Huron Lake Treaty, from the number of treaties 1 to 11, right from Eastern Canada to the Rocky Mountains and the modern treaties of British Columbia. We also welcome our relatives from across the medicine line from United States of America. Come on and dance Let's light them up, boys! Let's light them up! We welcome our war bonnet dancers. Our headman, headwoman dancer, our royalty, ambassadors of our First Nations, inviting you to their powwow celebration and yet camaraderie and unity. Just time the memorial, our warriors would scout ahead to ensure the safety of the America's original beauty, our beautiful women, our children, in keeping with that time on the custom, the war dancers of the mighty Sioux Nation. 
action. Our awesome Golden Age dancers in that grass dance style. The Fancy Feather, the Prairie Chicken. Come on in, Warriors. Come on in. The war dancers of the mighty Sioux Nation interpreting Eagle in Flight, Warrior in Battle. The storytellers, come on in, men's tradition now. Rocky Mountains. Let them the mix in treaty number six. Let's keep up rocking.
Ed Spencer into by the Oklahoma. All nations, the trail of tears, the long walk, where we introduce this beautiful competition style. When all nations were put together in one area, Oklahoma. Come on in, Vince. Moving on down that beautiful Rocky Mountain shadow, Treaty 7, Rakata Nation! Let's rock the nation! Gentlemen, our warriors have scouted ahead. It is now safe to bring in the America's original beauty. Leading the charge, the givers of life, the backstones of our nations, the foundations of our families. Our beautiful grandmothers in the woman's golden age. Buckskin, elk tooth dress, cloth dress, jingle dress, and fancy style. Come on in, grandmothers. Books up on Hunjawa, Big Deadway, Kunia. Welcome! Stationary style of our woman's tradition now. Come on in, ladies. Traditional.
Lucy, original and contemporary style, synchronicity between drum and footwork. This was the dance that the two lady trailblazers told the men we can rock just as fast and fancy. Keep them rocking. A little bit of heartbreaker out of Pound Baker. Treaty Six. The great, mighty war chief, peacetime chief, Pound Baker. Man, 
Keep them coming. Keep them coming. energy emanating from their God-given talented dance styles. We're going to ask Mr. Tommy Draper, our brother from another Earth Mother, to give us a blessing invocation, speak to Creator on all our behalf, our relative Tommy Draper.
Especially the host people here, the, all the committee. It got us here to be part of this uh, celebration. I want to pray it all for the head staff, MCs, everybody that's here from the youngest to the oldest. I want to share my land with you, you guys. Just pray with me and think about your relatives. I know we've been going some hard time uh, the last couple, three years. So you never think about it. Today, what you have here with your kids, your relatives, your grandkids. Some are home, they're sick. They have nobody to turn to you. So, you know, and think about them. We're here, you know, having a good time and dance for those people. I do that. I dance for my family. I travel with them, my grandkids. Everywhere we go, we have a good time. You know, and... Uh, some are, I want to pray for some military people here. Some are, I don't see them anymore, my old friends. Now we got some young ones that I try to get those young ones, put them in service. That way they have come some back in here, you know, to help you guys. A lot of these guys are gone now, you know. There's, it's kind of an empty spot. So put some of those young ones in there and uh, keep them out of trouble. To start them somewhere, you know, they can uh, help you guys. So, help me out. I don't know if I can get it. I don't know if I can Just put what you want. Oh. Yeah. Got my candy going here. Hey everybody, uh, we're just going through our uh, invocation here at the celebration and for, you know, especially for those viewers that are not familiar with uh, the powwow and uh, so, and I know a lot of our ceremonies, a lot of our gatherings, yep. we start with prayer, you know, and uh, we certainly do that here at our, our celebration here in Red Deer and they've asked uh, a very notable fancy dancer, an elder and a, a veteran in his own right, Mr. Tommy Draper and He's a fancy dancer. He's danced fancy his, his entire life. He's carrying that into his golden age. And so very honored. I think last year we had a chance to talk with him up yeah. here. And uh, he was a little uh, hesitant, you know, as, as were many of uh, some of our veterans and elders, you know. But when they, when they start to appreciate the learning aspect and the teaching aspect and the sharing component of it, you know, uh, over the course of the three days, they, they came around and actually, you know, Tommy uh, and uh, a couple others approached me and said, you know, they, they wanted to, yeah. to share a little bit with the people and give a little insight on, you know, not only why they dance, but their, their inspiration for dancing and what keeps them going, you know. And uh, so every, every dancer has their own story. Um, you know, the, the general consistent thing with the dancers it's a healing journey for the dancer it's the healing that he's sharing with or she with the people watching so I know a lot of times growing up with uh, my siblings and you know when things weren't going well especially with my sister and myself uh, you know when we go dance maybe it's not at a power maybe it's just at a, a performance and a show we call them and even that would pick up our spirits things yeah. would be going I don't know what it would be eh? where somebody was down but once we're done that you're back up things are going yeah. eh? so it's a it's, it's, it's a unique unique thing you know and uh, one can only experience when when you join that circle yeah. you see it many times throughout the power circle and yourself probably the, this last summer when you know I know you put on a couple specials but yeah you, you just feel it man you're walking into there and the energy it's almost like Indian relay you know when you're there and you watch it on TV you're like oh whoa, whoa, whoa. but when you're there you feel that oh circle of energy coming at you and especially in grand entry if, you know the drums are going or even or any song that's happening you know just the power of the drum you know especially when uh, there's a lot of uh, honor songs going on and everything you see everyone feeling